Snow supplies are in such high demand, some people are breaking the law to get their hands on snow blowers or plows. Thriftique, a nonprofit thrift store in Coeur d'Alene, had its one and only plow stolen sometime early, early Monday morning. As KXY 4's Andy Bishop explains, the store just wants it back, no questions asked. As the snow melts and the puddles get deeper, Scott Gittle couldn't be happier. It's nice to have the thaw and not have to worry about it. Worry about plowing. On Monday, Gittle, the manager for Thrift Teak, arrived early to work to plow the parking lot. Went back to get the snow, the four-wheeler with the snow plow on it, and it was missing. Gone. Nowhere to be found. Whoever took the ATV knew exactly where to find it. It was stored behind this chain link fence and under a tarp. The tracks just came from here out through and halfway down the parking lot. And then I couldn't tell where they went from there because the car tracks had covered them over. The 1995 green Kawasaki ATV was the only plow the nonprofit store had to clear its lot and 300 feet of sidewalk. Gittle used it every day, sometimes for hours at a time. I don't know why people would steal. I don't. You, you never know or understand why people steal anything. But yeah, definitely from a nonprofit, they they weren't. Obviously, they didn't have a conscience as far as who they were stealing from. They just wanted the four wheeler. The store sells used furniture, clothes, and household items to support several outreach programs through the Lake City Community Church. It also funds their food bank, which serves up to 150 families a week. If it snows again, this is all Giddle has to keep the lot clear so clients and customers can get inside. This is one we found in storage. Um, hopefully there's a store out there that has one better that we can buy. Giddle has filed a police report. He now has this message for the thieves. If you're done with it, bring it back. You know, we could, we could still use it. You know, if apparently, you know, they must have needed it felt they needed it more than we did, but we certainly do need it. In Coeur d'Alene, Annie Bishop, KXLY 4 HD News.